Welcome to Old School RuneScape, the game that in my opinion is the original RuneScape because it was created off of what players have known and loved growing up playing the game. In this series, I want to go back to what the game used to be, starting with a fresh account and going through all the quest lines and seeing what Old School has to offer now compared to what it had in the past. And I hope you enjoy this series. What is going on guys and welcome back to episode 2 of our Back to Basics Going Back to Old School RuneScape. So far we have got some decent amount of levels AFK today on mobile. We got 21 mining, 17 smithing, 12 fishing, and I'm about to cook all the fish I just did. And we got 15 wood cutting and 19 magic. So we're grinding out a decent amount of skills fairly quickly. Still kind of a little bit slow, but um, looking up some things online today, I'm going to do a lot of quests. I know I'm going to do the Knight Sword because that gives a lot of smithing XP, if I'm not mistaken. And then I want to do Imp Catcher for some very quick. Um, magic XP and then the Vamp Slayer I want to do for some easy combat XP and I am probably going to do the Waterfall quest really fast because I know it gives like 30 levels of attack and strength so probably going to grind that out even though it's a member's quest and it's probably going to be a pain in the ass to get to but definitely going to do that just because it'll make things easier combat wise and then I do want to do uh, rune mysteries and I'm pretty sure that's a free quest if I'm not mistaken yep I want to do rune mysteries and then I also want to do geratic ritual just to get herblore unlocked because at low levels especially doing just random quests Having just basic attack potions could make a big difference, or magic potions, or anything like that. So, uh, that's the goal for today, get a couple quests done, hopefully get my mining and smithing up. I want to do the dorks quest to get some mining and XP too, real quick, and then um, be able to actually smith some decent armor, get some steel going, and then I can get some better tools and all that fun stuff, and then we should be moving from there get combat and then just keep grinding out quests and that's what we're gonna do so I will see you guys here later alright so I finished cooking all my scrimps here finally and we cooked about 92 of them burnt 67 and that got us up to 16 cooking so by the time I get some more fish to get up to 20 to fly fish I think uh, I can do herring, sea bait fishing, uh, or mackerel, big mitt. I could probably do mackerel once I hit 16, and then uh, go to trout, and then salmon. Get that up fast, but I know cooking is lower, so we're doing good there. So now time to go do some quests. And there we go, that was about two seconds of questing done, and catcher is complete. Get that nice amulet of accuracy, and that brought us up to 21 magic. So, getting closer to those teleport spells. Alright, so we got two Blurite swords in our inventory. We're going to go ahead and drop one of these bad boys. We're going to talk to this guy, and we're going to finish this quest. Boom. Knight sword completed. That's a lot of smithing XP. And that brings us up to 31, which is cool, because now we can make our steel. So we can actually get some armor now. Alright, we got another quest complete. We did Dork's Quest. Easy peasy mining XP. And that will put us at 24. So now we can go mine some iron for a while, and then start mining some coal, and make some steel stuff. But we're going to keep this quest thing going. So I might go do the waterfall quest. We shall see. Alright, so we decided to do Vampire Slayer first, because it's pretty easy. 
I didn't think it was going to be that hard, and it actually wasn't very difficult. So there is that done. 4,000 attack XP, bringing me up to 21 attack. That is quite nice from level 4. So that lets us have Mithril, so that will help out significantly in our training. And then when we decide to do Waterfall Quests, I was kind of looking into it, it seems like it's going to be a pain at super low level, so I might get some more health first before I go do it. But we'll see what happens. But right now, we should be pretty good, and we're going to keep going on questing. We are back. And I uh, decided I was going to shear some sheep. So we're going to talk to old Fred here and uh, yeah, get uh, get this quest done real quick. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Oh. He all pissed off because I cut a sheep up. All right, quest point. Oh boy, 60 coins. We are rich. 150 crafting XP, and that puts us at level 3. Oh boy, polished buttons. Whatever will we do with polished buttons? Guess we'll find out. Alright, so we are about to finish Rune Mysteries. Pretty quick and pretty easy with the right stuff. Holy moly, this guy talks a lot. Yep, yep. We know how to runecraft, bruh. Holy moly. Well, there we go. That is rune mysteries complete and the runecrafting skill unlocked, which is cool because that will help me train my magic. So off we go. Possibly Juratic Ritual to get herb lore unlocked. And who knows? We'll see. And Cook's Assistance complete. That was way too easy. And we got 17 cooking now. Ooh, lean snail. Fancy. These uh, free-to-play quests are super easy and super fast. So I think we're just going to keep grinding them out and finish pretty much as many of the free-to-play quests as we can. All right, we are back again with another quest we're about to complete here with uh, goblin diplomacy or diplomacy or whatever the heck you want to say it is getting this one done easy peasy crafting xp and a, woo, a gold bar we are rich now making that bank though but crafting level five so we can start doing gold rings and uh yep gonna keep banging out these free to play quests all right, finishing up another quest. And we have Restless Ghost done, which has given us loads of prayer XP, which is nice. And that will put us at 12 prayer. Not sure what the prayer person wants, but total level of 200. Got some fighting prayers now. Slowly getting up there. 13 is superhuman strength, and we're only 132 off, so not too far. We're just cruising. So I just did this task for the wise old man, and I had to get him 5 swamp paste. And he just gave me some prayer XP. So that was pretty nice. And with that for today, I think that'll be it for today and for this episode. And I'm going to go back to grinding out more skills and just keep going from there. I think I might try to do some rune crafting, but I'm not sure yet because it's going to be a little difficult not having rune pouches and all that stuff. So we're going to see what happens. Go from there and uh, I'll see you guys soon.